In the summer of 2006, um, I, I'd been studying philosophy, world religions, was not really concerned with justifying Christianity. And, um, you know, it turns out that if you seek truth, mm. you'll meet Jesus. I had an encounter with God that changed my life. I remember one of the first things he said, he said, I need you to go to seek the path of enlightenment for you are destined to enlighten the world. Mm. And, um, and I remember standing there shaking in the presence of God and, and saying, well, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm really afraid of this. And, he, and, and, and then immediately just out of nowhere, this thought, well, perfect love casts out fear came into my mind. Mm. And I remember saying, well, no, I'm, I'm too weak. I can't enlighten the world. I don't, I don't even know what that means yet, right? And, and he said, well, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect mm. in weakness. And, and so it was kind of out of that place that I, I wound up having this encounter with God that put all of my doubts and uncertainties and questions to rest because wow. God was not a concept to be debated or explored. He was a, a, a being, a, a living, unique person um, that, that, that was able to encounter me uh, on, a, on a relational level. For maybe the next six months, man, I was in church every time the doors were open. I was there just learning. I'd grab old Christians and say, tell me what God has done in your life. I just wow. want to hear. I'm reading reading books as fast as I can get through them, uh, learning how to pray, learning how to repent, learning how to fellowship, just mm. trying to understand this. And um, and while I was doing that, God kind of started to awaken in, in me this, this heart for music. So I, I told a friend of mine, hey, I'm thinking about joining a band. You know, if you know anybody, let me know. And, uh, a couple months later, she called and said, hey, there's this band called For Today that uh, they, they, they're not signed to a record label or anything, but they had a vocalist and he just left. Mm. And they all love Jesus. Um, and I said, well, that's all I needed to hear, okay. You know, over the last 10 years, I've learned that love is messy. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and I think we sometimes make such a spectacle of these big Christian events, you know, big conferences concerts and, and uh, the reality is that the most profound things I've ever seen God do were not from stage. Mm. They were they were in a face-to-face, one-on-one conversation with somebody. You know, the context of, of the move of God is not is not always or, or not just in church. That God moves in bars, and God moves in back alleys, God moves in nightclubs if people are willing to step into those places. And so uh, we've had the honor of being able to not just step into those places, but being invited to those places right. for the last 10 years and, and having seen thousands and thousands of people all over the world have encounters with the love of Jesus because of it. I love Maddie's story because one of the things about God is that he looks at you and he doesn't see you where you are. He sees you where you're going to be. What he planned for you since before the day you were born. The Bible talks about how God wrote the story of our life before we were even born while we were still in the womb. And I want you to know wherever you are right now, God has something for you. There is something that you can give to this world that nobody else can give because God made you unique. And there's a little voice on your shoulder that's always saying, you know, you messed up. You're not living right. You're not, you don't know the Bible well enough. You're not a good speaker. You're not worthy of this. And it's all trying to stop us from fulfilling the destiny that God has. But if we are willing to step up and move forward into it, regardless of whether we feel worthy or qualified or not, God will begin to qualify us and train us up. And so I just want to challenge you today, wherever you are, that there is more for you that God has. And I want to call you to step up and start pursuing what God has for you. And you'll be amazed at what he does. I know that from personal experience. If you need some encouragement, give our prayer lines a call 1-866-273-4444. Well, up next, a man with a curious nature who has tackled some hard life questions. Here's Greg with his guest.